right, so it's time for art. And what we're gonna be doing this week is we're going to be learning how to draw different styles of sunglasses. And you're gonna just pick one style that you like and follow along and you're gonna draw out those sunglasses. I'll show you step-by-step step of how to do these and we are going to be coloring them in. But the one thing that we're not gonna do yet is we're going to leave the centers of our glasses blank because next week I'm gonna be showing you how to add a reflection of some sort of landscape or some sort of detail to those glasses. And this is gonna be a really fun project in the end. The reason I'm giving you two weeks on this is because I want you to take your time. I want you to make your glasses nice and big and fill up your entire paper. So next week we have plenty of room to draw our landscapes in. So what you'll need for this project, you're gonna need a piece of paper held horizontally, a pencil, an eraser, those, we always need those. And then we're also gonna need a Sharpie or some other black coloring supply like a black crayon or black colored pencil and some coloring supplies of your choice. Uh, I will be using marker today. You are more than welcome to use anything that you have at home, watercolors. Um, you could use colored pencils, crayons, all that fun stuff. We'll see. I think I'm going to use either marker or watercolor today, depending on what my mode is feeling like. So depending on what your mood's feeling like, get those supplies ready. Come on back. I hope everyone's ready to draw. We're going to get started on our shades. Hope you're ready. Let's get going on our sunglasses or our shades, whatever you like to call them. So your future is bright you need some shades. So let's get started. We're going to start drawing some sunglasses. You get to choose whichever style of sunglasses that you like. I have three different ones that I drew out and showed you how to draw them. If you want to draw a different type, you're more than welcome to. Um, just get a picture or pull that. If you have real ones, you can look at those. Um, I'm going to show you how to draw these three. And then I'll show you how to color them in. So for number one, these are kind of like an aviator style. What you're going to do is I want you to hold your paper horizontally because glasses are longer than they are tall. So I want you to hold your paper horizontally and we're going to start by just drawing a curved line that goes not to the edge, but takes up most of the paper. Then we're going to draw another one right underneath it. This is for the frames of our sunglasses. All right, what we're going to do now is we're going to come around, we're going to go from the top one and we're going to start to wrap it around and it gets a little narrower when we get towards the bottom. And we want it to meet not in the middle, but a little left of the middle. You might have to play with this a few times. So if don't expect to get it perfect on your first try. So mine came in a little bit here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come and I'm going to just, I want mine a little bit rounder. And I'm just going to come and fix that up. All right. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side, but we're going to try and match it the best that we can. So wrap it around. Mine comes in on this side. So I'm going to come in on this side. It's about this far down. Then it comes up like this. In and around. All right. So as you can see, one does not look exactly like the other. So I'm going to come back and clean it up. And take my time to make it look like the one that I want. So even me, who's practiced this a lot, has to come back and look at it. And I'm just gonna erase my line that I don't want. All right, so those look pretty even to me now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing on the inside. I'm gonna create a double line on the whole thing for our lenses. All right, and I have pretty much the glasses done. So 
it's really, there's only a couple lines in our glasses. So I want you to really take your time, make sure that they're as even as you can get them. And if not, you could take your time to fix it. All right. Now these would sit really funny on our nose. So we have to add a nose piece. So this is a curved line and we're going to double it up for both of them. And then usually there's a hinge on the side of our glasses. Let me show you that really quick. So I have my glasses here. These are aviators. They're actually very similar to the ones that we're drawing. And you could see on the side, there's that little hinge that opens up for this part. We are gonna pretend that our glasses are closed like this. So what I want you to do is on the side of your glasses, I want you to just draw a little rectangle. They should be on the same spot on both sides though. All right, and I think these look pretty good. So what I would do after this is I would come in with a Sharpie or a black crayon or marker or colored pencil and just outline them. So I'm gonna do this one and I'm gonna show you the next set of glasses. All right, glasses number two. So these are a little bit more of those old fashioned looking style glasses uh, where it comes up to a point on the end. And what we're going to do for these is we're going to start by creating almost like what looks like a seagull shape. So we're gonna come down like a V and in the middle it's gonna dip down and then we're gonna come back up. And we'll make sure it comes up to about the same point on both sides. And that's how we're gonna start these glasses. So it's almost like a very shallow V shape. Then what we're going to do is we're going to start to wrap it around. So start on one side. You don't want it to be too sharp. Make it a little soft on the edges. And we're gonna wrap around. And we're gonna come up to where that low point is. Don't touch it though. We wanna leave a space and create a spot where our nose would go. Then we're gonna do the same thing for the other side. Soft, just like the last pair that we did, we're making sure that we're getting it as close as we can. All right, and just like this one, see one side's bigger, so I'm taking my time that's why I gave you time on this project. We're breaking it into two weeks so that you can really make your frames as perfect as you can because it'll make your whole artwork look better if your frames are done well. You might want to start working lightly, pressing lightly on your pencil so that way when you go to a race, it disappears nice and easily. All right, so I have my glasses and now I'm going to do my uh, inside lenses, which is the glass part. And for this one, I want to have a, a thicker part on the end because I want that old fashioned wing. And if you want it even bigger, you can make your wing even bigger if you want a super old fashioned style. Or square it off and make it a little bit more modern and simple. And I'm going to come in and I want to leave part of that thick I'm gonna wrap around, come up, and then when I hit the top, I'm gonna connect. All right, and these old styled glasses, they oftentimes have these little ovals right here on the edge that you can put. And that is your old fashioned glasses. I'm gonna Sharpie these and then show you the last one that I'm showing you today. Like I said, you could do more than just these three, but these are the ones that I'm gonna show you. All right, and this is my third option that I'm gonna be showing you today. And this is actually a really common style that a lot of people wear nowadays. Um, and what you're gonna do is we're gonna start a little bit differently for this one. We're gonna start with the lenses. So you can make yours round if you want. This style comes in round lenses, square lenses. Um, it's up to you. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna draw them nice and big. So you're gonna start with a curved line for the tops of your lenses. So I like to do both of mine, leave a space, not too big, 
about two fingers between them and they should be the same size. And then we are gonna wrap down on one of them and I think I'm gonna make mine more square for this one. Whatever you do on one, you just have to do for the other. So I have my lenses drawn out. Then what we're going to do is we're gonna draw the top portion. So this would be the plastic portion or the tortoise shell or whatever style that you wanted. And you're going to come out and we're gonna do a curved line up and it's gonna be flat connected to it. So curved line out and then flat connected to it vertically. Then what we're gonna do, we're gonna make a curved line and we're gonna wrap in to about the point where we stopped our lenses. I hope everyone can see what I did there. And then we're gonna do a curved line that bumps. This is for the nose piece. All right, now from the corner of our lenses, we're gonna draw a curved line again for that nose piece. All right, we're almost there. All we have to do now is we have to go around the outside and double up our line around our lenses because we would have to have some sort of plastic or wire there to hold in our lenses. All right, and last step is we're just gonna make a little rectangle for that hinge on the side of our glasses. So I'm gonna Sharpie this one up and I'm gonna show you all three of them and then we'll start to color. All right, so I Sharpied all three versions of my glasses. As you can see, they're nice and large. They're taking out most of the paper. I tried to keep them as centered in the paper as I could and I tried to make them as even on both sides as I could. So I want you to take your time drawing out your sunglass frames. Uh, now what we're gonna do is I wanna make sure that you are leaving the inside lenses, which is the center shape, blank. Don't touch that, because next week we're gonna do a fun project with that. Um, so I want you to keep these and put them somewhere safe when you're done today so that we don't ruin them. But we are going to have some fun coloring today. So I'm gonna choose one of my styles or two of them and show you how I'm gonna color them in. So I think I'm gonna start with this one right here. And we can use anything. We can use colored pencils, markers, watercolors, all of that. And all you're doing today is coloring the frame, the outside, leaving the inside blank, and you're going to design your background. So I think I'm gonna use markers and some maybe some watercolors today so you can make this one solid color my only thing is if you do a solid color I want you to add shading or you can do a texture a pattern a design um you can do flowers on it you know they have plastic and they print these and they come in all different really cool things so maybe I'm going to do flowers for mine so I'm going to come in and start to do I think I want daisies so I'm going to come in, do some daisies. And I'm using marker, but you could use anything you want. And have fun with it. Maybe I want some pink ones too. There's some light pink somewhere. That's not light pink, but it'll do. All right, so I colored in my top part. I added some black polka dots because I thought it needed something extra. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back to this pink. So I did it one stroke across and it looks nice, but what you could do is take the same exact color and I want you to come in at the top and a little bit right at the bottom and it'll add a shadow. By just going a second layer, it'll make it darker 
where you want that shadow and it makes it look more 3D and realistic. So that's one way you could do it, designing it, adding colors and filling it in with different patterns. Um, on the next one, let's look at a different one. So let's look at this one. So for this one, if you don't, you could, this would be really fun to add a pattern into, but if you wanted to do it one color, um, I would recommend that you find a light version of the color and a dark version of the color. So I have all three different colored blues I can use with this. And I want you to just come in and fill in with the light color the whole thing first. All right, so I filled in my light color first. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, you could use that same technique where you come in, you let it dry for a little bit and you come in with the same color and you do a second layer to add that shadow in, or you could take a slightly darker color and come in and start to add some of those shadows. So you want to do it probably on the bottom for sure because that would not be where the light is hitting it. And that's how you create a shadow. Um, maybe on the edges. And definitely there's actually two lines in the middle where the nose piece would be that you can add a shadow to. And if it looks a little dark and you see that line, just come in with your lighter color and go over it and it blends it in. So that is how you do that. So I'm gonna come in and add a little bit more shadow. I'm coming in with the, even the darker one where it's really dark coming right into that middle and adding some different colored blues to this to make it a little bit more fun. Like I said, you could do a pattern on this style as well. All right, let's look at the last one. And for this one, I'm going to show you how to do like metal. So you can do gold, you can do silver. Um, if you have a metallic marker, that's great. If not, you can use what you have available. So maybe if I want to show you gold, um, you can find different colored yellows, some light oranges. Um, and you can do that. So you want to make sure that you're leaving some white spaces when you use your uh, for metallics. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to start. I hope this isn't the neon yellow, but we'll find out in a second. No, this is good. So you're going to start to add some color in, but leave some white spaces. So go all the way around and leave slivers of white space. And that will be the highlight. So that's the bright spot part where the sun would hit. So I'm coming around. I'm almost doing like little lines and leaving little bits of white. And then same for the nose. The light would probably hit right in the middle of this one. So I'm going to leave a little white in the middle of that. Then I'm going to come in with a darker color version, an orange. Um, I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to start to add in some of those shadows. And we're not going to fill it in completely. We're just going to add little dashes, little lines, little bits for that darker color. So this is, I think metal is the hardest one to do, even though you're leaving some white spaces because you have to put your colors in the right spots or it won't look like metal. So I'm coming in. This is really good to do with colored pencil. It's harder with marker. So keep that in mind. If you want to do metal, colored pencil is great with this because you have a white colored pencil you could come in on top of. And I actually like to come in with my pencil a little bit and just add some little bit of texture in by just going softly on top of the shadow. And you can do this with grays, light gray, dark gray, and it'll look like silver. All right, 
right, so that's an easy way to make it look a little bit like you have metal glasses. So this would be my gold frame. I think I need to come in on this side a little bit with that light orange color. And that would be my goldish, my very yellow gold frames. All right, so for that, you're going to now design the background. So I think I'm gonna come back to this one. And I think I'm going to use watercolors and you can really do anything you want for the background as long as it's filled in. So maybe I want to come in and start adding some polka dots um, with my watercolor. You can do it in marker two or whatever supplies you're using, but just make sure you're not going over. You're stopping when you hit your sunglasses. So I'm coming in, I'm just gonna start to do some polka dots. You can do stripes. Make sure you get all the way up in there for between the nose piece. And you're going to start to fill in the whole background with your design. If you want to leave white spaces, that's okay. Just um, leave a little bit. I don't want to see you have three dots on your background. Um, make them pretty close together, like how I'm doing here. So there's not a lot of white space between. If you want to fill in the whole thing, go for it. I think it looks great when you fill in the whole thing. All right, so I'd film, I'm going to fill my whole thing with polka dots, and then I'll show you a different style that you can do. All right, so this is a cool polka dot background. All I did, it's very simple with watercolor, is I made it very wet, a lot of water, a little bit of color, and I just created a circle. Then I rinsed it off, dipped the tip in a different, darker version of the color, and I just add, added a couple dots to it. And it kind of bleeds into these cool watercolor polka dots. So that's something you can do for fun for the backgrounds. Um, I'm going to show you something else you can do on the next one. All right. So for this one, I think I'm going to do watercolor stripes and I'm going to do, I think cool colors in the background. So all I'm going to do is dip in some of my watercolor and I'm just going to start to go across and I don't want them to be perfect. So I mean, you can do yours perfect if you want to. And then I'm going to dip in a different color that goes with it, like another green. It's okay if some's darker, some's lighter, because I want that abstract look. And then I'm just going to do this across the whole thing. All right, so this is just some watercolor stripes that I went back and forth. Um, I like how they're, uh, you can see the brush strokes in them. You can make them neat if you like, but the only part I was very careful around is where my sunglasses are. I still made sure I didn't go on top of my sunglasses and I was neat going around it. So that is another technique that you can use in watercolor for your backgrounds. It doesn't have to be cool colors. You can use any colors you want. Um, and then for this one, I'm going to show you how we can use some markers. So um, you could do stripes again, you could do zigzags, polka dots, whatever you want to do. So I'm going to pick some simple colors for the background of this one. I think I'm going to do some grays because um, um, I don't want to use the same colors in here because I don't want it to take away from there. So. I'm just going to, let's see, maybe I'll do, gray and black. And I think I'm just gonna start to do a zigzag line that goes across. And then I'll take my gray and I'll just stack it on top of that and do a zigzag line across. You could do this with straight lines, wavy lines, vertical lines, um, and you just fill up your whole paper like that. 
and you can use multiple colors if you want to do different types. Um, so I might leave a little white space between. And I'm going to keep doing that on my whole thing. All right, so that's the marker technique. Um, I would even possibly go in with another color to fill in some of these white spots, um, but that's up to you. So those are some techniques that you can use for the background. Here's some different um, color versions of what we went over today. I kind of did a tortoise shell or like a camouflage on this one. Um, here is the silver version of that metal. And then up here is, um, a pink version of those old fashioned cat eye glasses. All right, so have fun with it. Um, I can't wait to see what yours look like. And next week we will be working on reflections in our glasses. So make sure you're leaving those white and hold on to this for next week. Make sure you upload a photo of your glasses without the reflection in it on the Google Classroom so I can see your progress and then put it somewhere safe for next week. All right. Have fun and remember, you need some sun, some shades because your future is bright.